I guess this is what's going on very quickly, everybody. Cody came out for a promo, and he announced that next week on Dynamite, he is, in fact, going to be doing a dog collar match with Brody Lee for the TNT title. So this is not going to be a pay-per-view match. They are doing this match on TV next week for free. So if I know Cody, we're going to see a lot of blood on TNT next week. Man, so they I announced thought they were... That. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I thought we were already into the banter stage of this. I, I you know, I was surprised I'm that they over went all the highlights to, here. But go ahead. I was surprised that they went to this thing so fast in two ways. One, the announcement of it. I thought that maybe that they would announce it for full gear or something like that, where he accepts or they draw it out, or Brandy doesn't want him to do it some way that they were going to draw it out, but they didn't. They went right to it, and they're going right to it next week on TV. So it's interesting. You know, Roddy Piper and Greg Valentine is the one most people are going to point to. I know we've had dog collar matches since then, but that's kind of like the preeminent one and it was a bloodbath it was a unsanctioned match from the nwa that was the storyline going in piper would be able to win get his revenge on greg valentine for damaging his ear and putting him out and that was the whole point of that feud was valentine beat roddy piper so bad in the ear that he lost his hearing and the only way that piper could get him and keep him close was this dog collar challenge with valentine that ended up in a bloodbath at starcade and they're doing it on TNT on TV, and I'm not sure what their competition is next week. I know, obviously, that it, it's NXT. I'm not sure if the vice presidential debate, uh, which is actually well, may get supposed to be a vice presidential debate. I guess we'll find out if it actually takes place. I'll be fine with that one as long as I don't see any more presidential debates, but that's for a different show. But, you know, it seems like they are really throwing a lot at a, at a show that, I mean, competition-wise, I'm not going to say it doesn't. it's just a week, but it's just a week. So, again, I'm surprised by this. Maybe this is to set up something more at full gear. I don't know, but it was really a surprise to me they went to it this early. Well, this person here on, on Twitch does note it is the TNT Championship and not the Pay-Per-View Championship. So I guess the argument would be that if you've got a big match... Well, my argument would be the TNT Championship should largely be defended on TNT. It is the TNT Championship. But, I mean, when there was a TV title, it didn't mean that the TV title couldn't be defended on a pay-per-view. It can be defended on a pay-per-view. So I would say, uh, very much like WWE's wacky, uh, you know, they got the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, this, that. To me, if you have got a stipulation match for the TNT title, if you've got a dog collar match, a very, very bloody match, my argument would be that you put that match on pay-per-view. And your normal, regular, one-on-one, -on -one, no stip TNT matches, those can all be on TV, but I guess there's not a, a AW pay-per-view coming up for a while, so may as well just give everybody something for for free. Hey. And by the way, yes, yes, next week it would be the vice presidential debate. I guess we'll see if there's going to be another presidential debate. I hope would not. God, I hope not. Quite frankly, if the presidential debate was going up against AEW and NXT, it might actually help AEW and NXT. <laughs> That's my theory. Would your wife ever do a flip dive for you? Are you talking about in the, in the brawl? Yeah. So it... <laughs> my wife, Mike, would do anything for me. But let me tell you something. I didn't think that the brawl... Some people thought the brawl with the women was horrible. I didn't think it was horrible. But I didn't like that. This is like the big return of Cody and the announcement of the yeah. dog collar match. It's a dog collar match, a bloody dog collar match on national television. And in the middle of this giant angle to set it up, all of a sudden we have the women brawling. Yeah. And... They didn't even announce, I mean, they may announce that next week it's going to be Brandy and, and Anna Jay, but they didn't announce that on this show. So I'm not sure if that's going to take place, but to me, it just took attention away from what the important angle is at the time. Let's imagine, okay, because everybody likes to be fair, let's imagine that they were going to set up Anna Jay versus Brandy in a dog collar match. And they brought them out there, and Brandy came out, and she cut this promo, and she challenged Anna Jay, or she accepted the challenge, or whatever. And they start getting in a brawl to build up their big match for next week. And all of a sudden, Cody and Brody Lee come out, and they start brawling and taking attention away from it. People would be furious the other way as well. 
So I think they should have just focused on what the focus is next week, and that is Cody and Brody Lee in the dog collar match. And there's plenty of opportunities to build up that Anna J versus Brandy Rhodes match as well. Facts, exactly. And Nyla Rose. That Nyla Rose thing, too, being What was Nyla there. Rose doing there? I don't. I even forgot she was there because I don't for, even know why she was there. For a match that was is probably going to end up on Dark. I mean, and this is no offense to her or, or, or King, you know. I, it, the fact of the matter is you could have accomplished an Anna J. Brandy situation and a, a match for Nyla Rose without having to do it at that moment. You know, you could have done that after the commercial, in the back. Hey, this was going on during the pull-apart that deep people didn't see. Nyla decided to attack somebody. Like, all of that would have been better off not taking focus away from something that, again, I, I feel as though that maybe they've rushed a little bit. Again, we'll have to see how things actually ultimately play out here, but... It was a surprise that they did that. And Brandy being involved, I it's not – the fact that if she would have hit that dive out of nowhere or something and the guys all turned around and then she jumped on them and we never saw her run down to the ring and they caught – you know, she caught them by surprise. That's why she was able to knock them all over because the reality is, is why didn't they just catch her and throw her back? You know, I mean, it, it's five dudes that are there, one of which is Brody Lee. It's It was silly. It was just – it was silly, and without an element of surprise, without something, it it just to me it took away from it. And I know you wanted to tie in Anna J and and Brandy and their situation to it, and that's fine. But you could have done it in a different way, and I think they should have done it in a different way. It's it was too much. It's too much of one and not the other. You want to be blood and guts. You you still want to have you know a wink and a smile and this other stuff going on no you don't you don't have that luxury if you want to do the main event situation make it a main event situation with Brody and, and with Cody and with Cody also too and this is just with me and we'll have to see what the Mr. Blackwell of the site Craig thinks about this but I'm not sure about chain brooches that's what you got out of this oh whoa, whoa. what happened what, to my what? camera I had a I had Masquerita Sagrada filming and now I've got Andre the Giant doing it Anyway, let's get back to the what are the you big doing stories out here in Oregon. There, you get the <laughs> we're we're coyote? relaxing or we're I attempting bet. to. I can tell. The first day here is never relaxing. Hey, or the spider. second day. Yeah, there's no spiders around here. All right, so. 